I was with a group of HR leaders not long ago, and they posed a question to me, and it has really got me thinking. Uh, they said, Krista, you do organization development work. What is your belief on hiring executives from the inside or hiring them from the outside? And it was an interesting question. I paused for a moment and, and I hesitated sharing this because I, I'm not sure that I have a right or a wrong answer. But I'm going to speak from my experience of working in a large organization that we always groom people from the inside and then one day we started bringing executives in from the outside. It will have a ripple effect. Things will go up and down. Production, service, uh, beliefs about the company, engagement. All of that gets impacted on leader changes, but especially when you bring someone in from the outside. So more than having a right or wrong answer here today, I just want to trigger some questions that you ask yourself. How much up and down can you afford in production, in service, in morale, in engagement? And Because it will trickle through your employees down to the culture because the employees create the culture. And so what impact do you want or not want to your culture? What can you afford to happen and what can you not? So in lieu of me saying inside is right, outside is wrong, or outside is right, inside is wrong, think about the up and down, the waves that are going to happen for a while with leader changes. Think about engagement, morale, employees. Some stay, some leave. Think about your culture. It takes years to change or recoup when it comes to culture. And then you decide what's best for you and your company.